Gonna try a shining palm droplet. No, it's... Yeah, it doesn't matter even where you use on weak or small mobs, uh, weak or strong mobs. It'll always give you enough to get to one le uh, one level. But I want to see what oh happens God. if I use the Kaleido <laughs> MQ. My mind is clear. Oh, that's right. Since I can hit multiple times like this, I'll get more sepep. This is the blade of the eight leaves. Hmm, no, it d it does is not affected by Kaleido. Before I end things, I better take a look at the black records. In the fall, years following the Great Collapse, Educator Arnor chose Heimdall as his base of operations from which he would rebuild the land of Erebus. Before long, the city became a pillar of the region, and following that, its capital. The citizens, however, continue to suffer in the harsh post collapse world. They wish for a strong, caring leader to see them through these harsh times. It was an honor their wish was granted. After being recognized as an adjudicator by both ho Holy Beasts, he was the clear choice. Endorsed by both Holy Beasts, huh? He was crowned as Emperor and became the first of many rulers in the Ornor line. Upon his coronation, members of the Septian Church were dispatched from Arteria to endorse the new ruler. The people of Zemuria had lost the objects of their worship in the Great Collapse. However, the Church provided them a new way of connecting with Adios, faith. In addition, by recognizing the legitimacy of rulers across the continent, they strengthened the foundations of its recovering civilizations. So they chose the uh, correct rulers. Both of them ch tried to abuse that system. In the year 81 of the Septian calendar, the third emperor, Sion Arnor, had a great cathedral built in Heimdall. The cathedral was to be a bastion of faith and would serve as a site to crown future emperors. But it also held a far more significant role. Let me know to the public, an artificial primal ground was created below the cathedral, a replica of the one that existed below Arteria. With the church's increased presence, the desperate times following the Great Collapse came to an end. People had lost their civilization, but now had a faith to sustain them in their search for light in the Dark Ages. However, 200 years later, the darkness that had gripped Erebonia would pull them down into, into the depths of ruin. When the Holy Beast suddenly disappeared along the primal ground beneath the cathedral, it was the same day the Dark Dragon's miasma was laid waste to Heimdall. Between flame and earth, the wavering darkness begins to spin the tale of the end. First, the conflict of the gods of the second pillar. The great gods of the second pillar. Second, the fusion of earth and flame and the completion of seven vessels. Third, the beginning of the Thousand Year City and the acceptance of the Grawl. Fourth, the disappearance of the Holy Beast and the catastrophe of the Whispering Dragons. Fifth, the recapture of the capital and the Vermilion Curse. Sixth, the Lion's War and the sacrifice of the Holy Maiden, Arian Road. Seventh, the appearance of a gi the giant pillar in the north and the unwanted child. Eighth, the sacrifice of the village in the Hundred Days campaign. Getting awfully specific. Ninth, the great blue trees to the east and the appearance of the cursed castle. Plus, a thousand-year-old wish was fulfilled. When the sacrifice is made and the ancient blood flows, the path to Grawl of Erebo shall open. When the hidden holy beast is pierced by the blade of the world's end and its blood fills the Grawl, the great twilight shall fall upon the land. Can we avoid such a fate? Beyond here is the deepest layer of the Grawl. This will truly be our final battle. Are we really prepared for whatever we might face out there? Going out there, we may come face to face with death itself. But we need to bet everything on this chance. Class 7 Special Operations, move out! Yes! yes! The grounds of the Twilight's Burr. Ali! There she is! Your Highness, what have you done? Oh, don't worry, she's fine. For now. But putting that aside for the moment... You really should greet the hosts of this little event before me. It's only proper. So you've arrived, Rainschwarzer. I see you've brought your students too. Uninvited guests, though you may be. I welcome you all the same. 
We don't need a welcome from the likes of you. And you, the other one up there. Professor Lumen. Or should I say, the chief of the gnomes and head of the Black Workshop. Black Alberic! <laughs> I suppose I should say it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm surprised you know that name, though. Did the Crimson Witch or the Grawl's Ritter tell you about me? Well, I'm glad I don't need to waste time explaining. I'm rather a busy man, you see. I can't say I approve of his tone. I'm going to ask you two things. First off, what exactly is the Great Twilight? And second, what do you plan to do with Altina? <laughs> Astute questions indeed. It's difficult to explain the Twilight in a succinct manner, but I suppose it can be described as something which will lift the curse that lingers over all of Erebonia. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say, it completes it. So that curse is the Great One. It also seems to have some relation to Valimor. You want to complete the curse? What is wrong with you?! After the Septarian of Flame, Arc Rouge, and the Septarian of Earth, Lost Zem, battled 1200 years ago, the resulting Septarian of Steel was divided into seven pieces by the Gnomes and the Hexen Clan. Though this succeeded in diffusing its power, it did nothing to suppress its curse. It is due to this failure that the Dark Dragon, the War of the Lions, and the Hundred Days War all took place. Of course, the same goes for the Civil War and the Emperor being shot. What? The Dark Dragon and what happened with Ash aside. Are you saying the curse had something to do with all those wars? <laughs> Don't you find it strange? No matter the reason, massacring your own people as an excuse to start a war is unheard of in modern times. The risk of being caught far outweighs any benefits of such a scheme. Normally, one's logic would put a stop to such thoughts. The masterminds of the Hommel incident were minor noble officers. As individuals, they weren't especially sinister or anything of the sort. Isn't that right, Your Excellency? Correct. For better or worse, they were ordinary men. Though they were facing pressure from the four great houses and being goaded by Ouroboros, those were not the only causes. During the hearings afterward, they claimed, it was a moment of weakness and they couldn't believe what they'd done. No way. Regarding myself and the Chancellor, tragedies like Hama. At times, this nation will make the most tragically foolish decisions. The history of Erebonia is smeared with blood and alight with flames, more than any other country. I see. So that's what happened. Then... Does that mean... It was all because of the Great One's curse? All curse rather than human agency. <laughs> oh, don't misunderstand. It was not the sole cause of those offense. However, something plants a twisted black seed in people and society. I believe you've all seen the results of such a seed firsthand. Could it be? Ash was implanted 14 years ago during the tragedy of Hamel? <laughs> Correct. I'd also like to make clear we had no hand in that. Once afflicted, he was doomed to cause some manner of incident one day. In all likelihood, no one could have removed what was planted within him. Not even the goddess herself. No. <sighs> Don't you find it ridiculous for us to continue to be at the mercy of such a thing? 
That is why I sought to take this curse and use it for my own ends. The Great One is mighty, but as its physical form was divided, its ability to affect this world is limited. However, were it possible to reforge its scattered pieces into an even stronger being, I could use it to drown the world in conflict. The endless struggles leading humanity to ever greater heights. But how would that solve the curse? Truly inspiring, Chancellor Osborne. You monster. This is beyond absurd. Unbelievable. <gasps> And the Great Twilight is what will lead to all that? Then both Altina and that beast are the keys. Indeed. That creature lying over there is the Black Holy Beast. Originally sent by Adios to watch over the Septarian of Earth. It was one of the two holy beasts who worked alongside the gnomes and the Hexen clan to suppress the Great One. It was corrupted after taking a majority of the curse into itself 900 years ago. It then sealed itself and the sacred land away in the abyss. But by slaughtering it with the proper tool, the curse in it will be released. With the advent of the Twilight, the Great One can be made whole. The completion of that tool, the sword, was crucial to our plan. It required a being fully synchronized with a combat shell, one who is both human and weapon. The raw material from which a blade capable of slaying a holy beast can be forged. A blade to be wielded by a divine knight. That is the 74th and final model. A being which can sublimate into the Sword of the End in exchange for its own life. No. Could it be that all our groups really are losing? Is that the reason Milliam and Altina were created? Yeah, guess so. Oh. Uh. This is all just too crazy. <laughs> Shut up! That can't be true! How could you be part of this, Prince Cedric? I knew their plan would be appalling, but this has surpassed even my expectations. How do you justify all this? Don't you have a family you care about? How do you think your daughter would feel, knowing the awful things her father has done? That was nothing more than a fleeting version of me. I am the chief of the gnomes and head of the Black Workshop. I have abandoned my life as a human and taken on this mission in order to realize a grand wish. I am nothing more than a humble servant who does his master's will. To that end, I have assembled a host of different technologies for the sake of Oz's creation. I stole the process for creating homunculi from the alchemists of Crossbell. I provided the mages with the technology required for the magic knights during the Dark Ages. I distributed experimental weapons to high-ranking Jaegers to collect combat data. I joined Ouroboros' 13 factories to get closer to Epstein's top disciple. I even took advantage of the continent's leading manufacturer of heavy machinery, Rhineford. Oh, this group seems to be doing Father. better. My lady. Same time Heimdall Central Station. There's the Rakshasha. This shouldn't be too hard for her.
Oh, wow. Those things actually destroyed some of the tanks. Oh, there's no end to them. Yeah. They'll probably keep coming back until the main show is over. There you two are. Why'd they bust out Ash? Shouldn't he be in custody or something of the government? I see your mission was a success. Oh, someone else. Some. I guess they sent some of their own people to rescue Ash. That's the Crimson Wings. Will they make it in time? I wonder. Well, no point in worrying. All we can do now is leave things to them. We have our own duty to fulfill. Now, to Heimdall Airport! Yes, my lord! What are you doing at the airport? Reclaiming the Panagruel? Gilius Osborne, if that is truly your wish, and you intend to carry it out, I will put every ounce of my being towards stopping you. Hey, if your goal is to kill the, the whole, it's a uh, kill the holy beast. Maybe we should, I don't know, forge an alliance with the holy beast. Yeah. Maybe to, uh, to the final boss will involve us protecting the holy beast from what, Cedric, or something. Cedric and his uh, 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 Testarossa. No way we'll let you do something so terrible. I shall stake my family's name on it. We'll put this vile plan of yours in check. Hmm, interesting. You needn't bother with them, sir. The Vermilion Knight will soon be fully repaired. Once it's ready, I'll take care of things myself. For now, why don't we awaken the Holy Beast? I think it'll prove more than sufficient as an opening act. This is true. Master, your thoughts? Do as you please. Understood. So we're trapped in here? Damn it! Is it a barrier to prevent us from using Valimar? And the uh, other Soldots? Maybe we, we uh, oh shoot, maybe we should destroy the barriers instead of attacking the beast directly. Maybe that's the key to winning this battle. Nameless one, Black Holy Beast. Uh, uh, A tainted holy beast. It's lost everything. Its original form, even its name. Class 7, prepare for battle! We need to keep it at bay until we have the chance to call in our trump card! Yes, yes sir. sir! Uh. Wait, did we get permanent buffs? Nice. I don't even have to use my spirit unification, but I will because of the OP Arcane Gale. Spirit Unification? Come up! Break through! Sledgehammer! It's probably not going to be enough to break you, but it will make decent progress. Okay. Arcane! Gale! My turn! Since... Yeah, the best thing about permanent buffs is that I can abuse Chrono Burst and not worry about any of that shit ticking down on me. Yeah, so that's the best part of it. Tem uh, Blade Dance is po completely useless here. It's actually more... Uh, since I won't be able to... I'm already at permanent buffs anyway, so as long as I don't get knocked out. Can I AT delay you? Nope. 
Nope. Our chance. An opening. Here I, go. I have Aegis. That shit won't work on me. Hold on, let me get real far away from my caster so that there's so there's no way you could possibly target them. Well, unless you have a really big AoE. In which case I am screwed. My turn. Mm. Wow, it's almost broken. If only if only I could do it. Can I even AT delay you? 10% chance. My turn. Break through! Flash hammer! I'm going! Okay. Albion Wolf is my strongest one right now. Huh? Here I go! Huh? Take this! Oh, what? Oh, I broke it way too soon. Oh shoot, I didn't, br I didn't expect her to... Whatever. It it'll work out somehow, I think. As long as I can get Reen up to 200 CP and deal some massive damage. Not bad. Yes. But if she was more wounded... If you had... If, if you were more wounded, that, that probably would have done more damage. Okay. I can cast one more out... Being wolf, huh? Strike! Windblade formation! I'm going. Moulin Rouge. I need to get Reen This'll get a bit some CP. Let's nice go. crit. An opening! Let's go! Okay. Oh, well, even though I have Minotauros, it doesn't delay me by that much. Strange. Hmm. Not quite halfway there yet. Ha! Now! Keep it up! My turn! A rain slash on you. Yes. Should I use the surge? I don't know. Yeah, rain slash. Maybe we can AT delay you if I'm lucky. Ah! Strike! There! An opening! It's my turn! Formation. I'm going. Okay. Keep shooting. Your wings. Shoot. Let's go. An opening. Scout or let's go. It's just gonna beat this thing with no damage. Please delay. Please delay. Ah, strike. No. It's down. Might as well just enjoy my infinite buffs anyways. I think I'm gonna win anyways. Yeah, it's just Ash and Mortal leaves this guy. It probably won't kill it, but it'll probably hurt a lot. My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now! But he still keeps his permanent buffs. Here I go! Which is good. Yes. Hmm. You can't escape! Fire! 
Wide open! Everyone ready? Let's just do one burst, just for the sake of being class seven. It's my turn. All right, now check the. Now I. That means I lose wind blade, but I have chrono burst, so I can make up for that easily. It's my turn. Okay. Azure wings, shoot! Let's go! Too slow! Speed down. I'm going. Okay. There! It's my turn. It's gonna smelt the crap out of these infinite buffs. Azure wings, shoot! Now's our chance! An opening! I'm going! Wow, it's almost dead. Yes. Anything will kill it now. Now, I haven't s I don't think I've seen Yunus in a long time. This is it! Finish it. Excel Breaker! And dead. Wasn't too bad, but still life plot stamina. Uh. It's fully awakened now. Now is when the true battle begins. Right! Now's our chance! Heed my call! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Please! Bring our machines with you, too! Acknowledged. All of them have s uh, boosters on, hopefully. Also, how the heck is our, the branch campus doing? Are they dead yet? Good luck, Reen. Well, Toa's is still alive. Kurt, you guys too. Least, uh, Be careful, Muse. So they're calling in their trump card. I'll put my trust in you to administer justice. Hey now, I'm supposed to be the fool here. They're just going to end up crashing right into the barrier. Perhaps, if not for us, that is. We're putting everything on the line. Spirit path open. Say what? That's cheating! Don't want to hear it from people who teleport all the damn time. Th these three are still alive. Uh, you can do they don't, this. They don't look that tired compared Please, to the third group. Win. Wind, protect them. Good luck. You guys got this. Give him hell. I know you can do it. Without a doubt. May you be victorious. <laughs> Go get him, guys! Wait, who side are you on?
can feel everyone, even Allie. Yes, it seems we're linked with everyone here. Not just here. It's faint, but... We're still carrying Ash. That must be one really awkward ride. What if Ash wakes up and You're tumbles right. off the I can hand? Feel Ash. We must be connected through the spirit face. Well, that would be one crazy way to wake up, wouldn't it? Waking up in a giant robot's hands while it's roller skating down the street. Huh? Well, well. How oh, worthless. Now then, we will see how they fare. Oh no. Use it. It's powering up even further. Okay. We take the first move. Let's go! Uh, that's. An, it didn't start in an idle stance. It started with an attack stance? No way! Shoot. Please be the right one. Yes! Now! An opening! Not, I, not that I can defend against this at all. Because I don't have the CP for the defend command. My turn! So strange that mech battles and ground battles play out so differently. In ground battles, you don't even have a real defend command. You just have to take the full brunt of everything. Even when you know what's coming. Unless you have a adamantine shield. Ha! There! It's mine! It's gonna burn us, isn't it? No, it didn't. Okay, good. It's my turn. It still hit pretty. Uh, it still hit pretty hard, but at least it didn't burn us. Okay, now it's in the idle stance. Okay. Yeah. Now an opening. It's my turn. It's mine! My turn! Okay, it's only going for. S oh man, I should have defended with her. Oh well. Ah, shoot. Why couldn't Sarah be the one to go up next? And I could heal. Oh, oh no, I want Sarah to go afterwards, actually. Yeah! It's down! It's mine! Oh, shoot, I didn't activate the finisher. Oh well. Let's go! Uh. Radiant Wings. Ow. It's doing shit. Let's go. Helix. We'll stop its attack with this. Helix strike. Didn't break. Dicks. My turn. She doesn't delay by much either. So, hmm. Up there. There. Unite at once. So hoping Reen would be the one to initiate it. Oh well. There. Get back. Yeah. Mr. Blade. Blade. 
No, no break yet. Power Did diminishing. some damage. Some spirit charge advised. Are you s I'll use spirit charge once it's V's <laughs> turn. That would be a good idea. Ah! Our chance! It's mine! Let's go. Spirit! That might have been overkill, actually. Jet. Delay the inevitable, huh? It's my turn. How many more stacks up buff? You don't have much. Oh, crap. Okay. Huh. It's down! An opening! It's my turn. Thundering Roar only works for one turn, but it might be the one turn I need. Cut. Very well. Uh... Ah! Damn. Something approaches. Ring, be wary. It's a different stance entirely. Smack you in the face. It's my turn. Yeah. It's down. An opening. Seriously, Reen hasn't healed at all, and he's already way healthier than his students. Never mind, he's getting hit now. What? Let's go. It's a powerful single target move. If I can delay it and have Valamar defend, that would be great. Yeah, so that sounds like a, a plan. Too bad Rain Slash has a very low chance of actually critting this damn thing. Uh, strike! Let's go! Hmm. Hmm, I'll do my best. There! It's my turn! Just hope it doesn't do something like vanish me. That would suck. What? It took my EP! It's my turn! It's almost broken though. Let's go on the offensive a bit. Yeah! Our chance! It's mine! Let's go! Break you! Oh no, it's not gonna be delayed enough. Shoot! Let's go! Okay, now I can start dealing some more damage. Crescent Flash, perfect! Yeah, slow your defenses. And then do a big Unite attack. Now! Let's go, everyone! Yes! Understood! Get back! Uh, there! Yeah! Starfall Slash! It's working. Let us push through. Yes, let's push through. I'm gonna lower your speed a bit. You can't escape! It's mine! 
Hmm. Got it. Hmm. Very well. It's not going to be delayed by much. Hmm. It's mine! I got this! Hut! It's Earth's defense is also down, so this should hurt him quite a bit. It's my turn! It is getting serious. Okay. It's down! An opening! Let's go! Yeah! There! It's mine! Now! May want to charge for this one. Actually, first swap to someone who has. Uh, doesn't state what their stat bonuses are. Maybe the stat bonuses only apply at the beginning of the fight? I'm not sure. Charge. I hope this helps. It's my turn! Hey. Cross break. Since I already have a lot of speed, anyways. It's my turn. Mm. This is an unknown stance. Apparently this one's only has two stars at most, which is which kind of sucks. Get back! Let's go. That's gonna end badly. Yeah. Yeah, you, two stars at most, huh? Cross break it. Uh, take this! Oh, nice. Our chance, it's mine. Ah! Let's go. Shoot, it's really targeting her. I can delay you. That gives me enough time to deal with this shit. Okay. Snow. Buff's about to run out, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna lose all my EP when he attacks. I'm just gonna do this. What is different? Yeah. What? What kind of single target was that? It's my turn. Mm, weird. Blowing horns. It's targeting you, Reen. And you cannot defend. You're just gonna have to tank it. Good thing you have so much. Uh, you're giving your hit points so full right now. Okay, Nick. Sit. Now. 
Let's go, everyone! Understood! Yes. Get back! Uh, there! It's almost dead. And there goes my EP. I got this. Yes, thundering roar. Hut! The most OP art. Very well. Next time you try to attack, I'll be ready. Oh crap! It's this stance. This really hard to break one. I should just use Twilight Blade so everyone else can have a shot at br breaking him. Uh, there. Oh, nice! It actually worked. Here I go. Okay, arm. You're gonna go for him. Okay, he, he should be fine. He's got a lot of hit points. It's actually. Uh, it's actually... Uh, 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 you know who's in trouble right now. Gotta do something about that. Ah! Our chance! It's mine! Let's go! Yeah! Now! An opening! Almost there. Still? Oh, but its body is exposed. Hmm. Ah! Wide open, it's mine! My turn! Take over. Golden Howl. Ah! That's a huge risk. I can still fight! Healing strike! It's down! It's down! Let's go, everyone! Hell yeah! Yes! Yes! Get back. Yes, a necessary risk. Uh, there! Slash! Only do this when you're sure you can kill the opponent. Did it lose its second form? Wait, Instructor Reen! We should make sure we don't kill it, right? Oh shit, how do we kill- We won't have to worry about that. It can't be killed with normal weapons. Yes, but what if it gets back up? We've tired it out, though. Let's capture what we have. How do we capture it? With a Pokeball? Yeah, I don't think it's going to slow down at any rate. It's got plot stamina. The second form again? It literally beat us by yelling at us. Is it trying to eat it? <laughs> I told you, didn't I? Not even a weapon forged with Zemurian ore will work against one of Adios's holy beasts. The only thing that could possibly have an effect is a blade forged from a soul, the Sword of the End. Now, let us... What is it, Georg? What? All right. Send the footage over. Earlier. Have 
everybody! Look! I knew there was no chance of Shara making it here, but... I'd hoped to at least meet up with Mueller before heading in. I might be a little late, but I will be there. Until then, don't push yourself too hard, Olivier. Well, there's nothing we really could have done about it. His hands were pretty full. But dang, that's quite the sight. Especially considering it popped up out of nowhere. We shall infiltrate as soon as we land. Though it would appear, there's something we need to see to before then. <gasps> oh, hell yeah! They made it! Oh, Olivier! This is the Courageous. All members of Ouroboros and all Jaeger Corps cease fire immediately. I repeat, The Radiant Blade Master is here. Got that Zero Artisan guy's with him. Well, Georg, whatever shall we do about this? Cavalry's finally here. Thank goodness. Hmm. Might even be a bit too much for Zeno and Leo. Huh? Huh? Well, shall I? Oh no. What are you doing? Stop! <laughs> Show of his hand or what something. Device. That explains why uh, 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 Georg was at the uh, uh, airport earlier. Th this is... I underestimated them. Shara, I'm sorry. Sorry, I... looks like I messed up. Is there no parachuting? Goddess... Please, protect my daughter. They really have to take it that far. Even Campanella seems slightly did, displeased. Did you do that, George? Now do you believe me? I'll say it again. Angie is dead. It's not like uh, it's not like the usual trails villains. That was supposed to be the hope of the third way, and now they've crushed that hope. Reen, what's going on? Adios. Chairman Irina, when did you realize he was still alive? From the beginning. I knew there was some secret he'd been keeping from the start. But it's only now that I've been able to grasp the whole picture. Sir High Arms. This barrier will hold for a while without me. May I leave things here to you for the time being? 
I... Certainly. But where are you headed? Is she going to save them? <laughs> I need to go take care of something for a patron of mine. Maybe there's still hope if Vita can get there. Hurry! It'll be taking off soon! Yes, yes Commander. Commander! Trying to get the panic gruel. Ah, you made it, Miss Witch. Everything has gone exactly as Lady Mildeen predicted. Including the bombing? <laughs> Just as she predicted how the noble armies would agree to the Northern War. Well, I guess that part. And your appointment to the branch campus. That uncle of hers can't hold a candle to someone with such a sharp mind. Now that the prince is gone, hers is the only hand left in the game. The prince, the radiant blade master, that blonde bracer. We lost some exceptional people. Indeed. Farewell, Master. However, our little mistress is still in a rather dangerous spot. Shouldn't you go and rescue her? Vita was working with... Uh, 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 was actually working with Musei from a long time ago, huh? I was told it wasn't necessary. She said she wanted to see how this game plays out with her own eyes. The Pantagruel has completed launch preparations. It's time. Very well. Yes, let us be off. Probably should ask them for a bailout after all. You might actually die here, Musei. Father! Laura! Stay strong. What a waste. Would have liked to fight him again. May their souls find their way to Adios. Your Excellency and Your Highness, was this truly all right with the two of you? Yes. Farewell, Oliver. Bloom to hell without so much as a word. I'd get it if this was a Jaeger on Jaeger fight, but... I can't believe it. Elisa, Laura. <gasps> this is bad. Rain, get back! Crap, gonna have to use- gonna have to use this- uh, Instructor Ape style. Don't worry about- Ape form. Or not. It would seem my turn has come. Sorry, Black Rabbit. But this is the only way. I will make it as quick as I can. Must. Hmm? I must protect. I must. Reem, Yuna, Kurt, Musi, Ash, William, everyone. <laughs> Ali! You. How can you treat her like some manufactured tool? Look at her! Right now, she's far more human than you are! I didn't expect she'd develop emotion to such a degree. Come, Clown Soleus! She punched him. No! 
That barrier won't... It's not strong enough! Altina! Run! Milliam! We have to play as Milliam and Altina now? No! They won't stand a chance against the second form. What are you doing? Damn it. Oh. Well, why? This is my role. I'm the one who's supposed to become the sword. I'm the one who can protect everyone. Nah, you just leave that to your big sis, okay? We've got the same specs. I can fill that role too. Actually, no. I don't care about that. Marine, Yusis, Elisa, Fee, Laura. And Emma, this is Milliam's plan all along. Marcus, Elliot, Gaius, Sarah. You too, Tilly. I'm gonna protect everyone! Milliam! No! No! Those barriers don't work in cutscenes. Shit, it actually broke the entire doll part two. <laughs> and that's real blood. There's no taking that back. Milliam! <laughs> yay. This is not a time to say yay. I did it. The Originator Zero Sword. Oh no, it's... The Divine Knight changed with him? What is that? The sword too. What's all these eyes? He's been consumed. Gross looking. Damn it, that necklace doesn't work here. Nameless one. I served 200 CP. It's the first for mech bells. What the? It didn't. Okay. His eyes turn out kind of like McBurns, too. It didn't even attack, did it? It's just sitting there, looking at me. Okay, its defenses are down, not that it matters because it's not even putting up a fight. Damn it. Exhausted off of a fierce battle. This is just like the uh, moments in the in Zero and Sky 1 where you have to beat on a defenseless final boss, only it's taking a much darker turn. This is not a hit moment of triumph. This is, this is a moment of defeat and you're playing it.
One more strike. I can't even defend. Even though I have full CP, defend is simply not an option because he's berserked. All I can do is just keep whacking it. There is no other choice. Well, that's sick. Great Twilight's happening now. It's dead. Unless it has some plot stamina. In which case, you should, you should, it doesn't have any plot stamina. It's... it's screwed. Damn it. The Air Free need to use their mechs to stop Reen. Stop! Please! They could just get up. Reen! Come to your senses! Snap out of it, Reen! <laughs> Why is this happening? Instructor Reen! Leave him for now! And that's it. It's actually showing the world map, only it's not showing good things. At this rate, everyone's gonna be cursed and turn evil on us. Hmm? Did something just... Wow! Even that baby is gonna turn evil. It's gonna turn the whole world into our enemies. Am I imagining things? Yep, yep, this year's Spring Dive Festival is better than ever. Uh, over here. Wait up. Oh no. Even the towns are not safe. Crossbell 2. What if it gets into the uh, into the geo front to uh, geo front? Uh, geo front was used uh, in conjunction with the uh, Azure Demiurgo, so, so definitely not good. Oh no, the is the cat going to cats turned evil? Kopi, what's wrong? If you're gonna be mean, I'm not gonna feed you. Even Kope is going to be an antagonist in the next game. I'm gonna f fight Kope with Selene or something. Uh, the trade wars between the two stores are going to get worse too, aren't they? Yup, I can. It is the two stores. You've been messing with my business for long enough. I'm not going to take it anymore. Oh, really? What do you think you're going to do? Help me with old groceries? Let's all calm down. There's nothing to fight over. What's going on here?
Cryptids are gonna start spawning everywhere, aren't they? Even the casino... ...employees? They're gonna start gambling their souls away. Like in JoJo. Oh no! Yeah, don't you dare take me lightly! Eek! If something were to happen to the Emperor, all sorts of things could be sent in motion. I need to find a way to get a leg up on my competitors before that happens. Everyone, ask that you not panic. Not everyone seems to be equally affected, though. When the world is happening? It's even going into the sea. Even the fish are going to start going nuts. Huh? The crypt has disappeared? Or maybe they're being transported to other places in the country. They vanished? What's going on? Hey! Did anyone else feel something weird? Yeah, like some black wave washed over us. A are we saved? Th thank goodness. But still... Damn it! Why is this happening to us? The Emperor has fallen, and now even the Courageous! Who's doing all this to us? Oh no, now they're gonna point fingers. This incident demonstrates without a shadow of a doubt the identity of the foreign power that orchestrated this tragedy. It was a handgun manufactured in the Republic of Calvert. It was a Vern Company make. Further, it has come to light that in the past few days, nearly 100 Calvardian spies had infiltrated Heimdall. And now this. The message they have sent us is clear. This is no less than a declaration of war. We can no longer ignore the threat at our eastern borders. The Republic of Calvert. That's right! The Prince and the Chancellor told us! This is Calvert's fault! Yeah, they're the ones doing all this. Why would they do this to us? We need to end them before they kill us all! We can't let them sully the pride of Erebonia! Oh, why? What's wrong with them? General, what's going on? I have no clue, but... What just happened? Randy, who was that? Yeah, something must have gone wrong. Oh, I get... Don't worry. No matter what happens, I'll protect you. So it started. Which means Crow is... No turning back now. Indeed. This is what we've been working towards. However... What in the world... have we been working toward? I don't know. However... A bit late to ask that now. Is this the wish our Lord has been waiting so long for? <laughs> well, of course. What is Arian Road getting out of all this? This is the Great Twilight meaning you were working toward the end of the world. This is the successful execution of the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. The worst case scenario has been realized. What will you do from here? This situation no longer involves just Erebonia. 
We must move carefully, or the entire world will meet its end. What are we going to do with Reen? He's still attacking the beast. Instructor! Please, listen! We got Altina back, so please! The Holy Beast! No! Stop! You can't! Damn it. Why do I have to remember now of all times? The Seven Divine Knights. What a pain in my ass. Crow? You remember. Fine. Guess I'll jump in too. Boss? This outcome was inevitable. Heed my call! Ordeen! Come, Zector! To me, Argreon! Why is he walking so slow? Probably just so Cro Crow can get there in time. Hey, get a hold of yourself! I run that Crow of all people is trying to keep him from attacking Osborne. Keep him there. Got it. You have a ways yet to go. <laughs> An impressive scene. I think I'll join them. Awaken Testarossa. Yes, this feeling. <laughs> yes, this is it. The power I felt back then is finally mine! Your Highness. Hmm, it's impressive for sure. Not really my type, though. Fool. This won't help Milliam rest in peace. Heed your master. Ishmelga! Every Divine Knight seen so far is on Osborne's side. The Ebon Knight. Huh. It's about damn time. So that's your guy's master, huh? Yes. That's correct. <laughs> Guess there is something out there that can utterly overpower Wait, Master, me. who are they referring to? Now six are assembled. <laughs> As for the final one...
can control Reen's spirit unification? Uh, I... What... have I... Now, Reen, let us begin. Together we shall write the end to this wretched fairy tale in ink, black as despair. Ah. Uh, that is quite a cliffhanger. Even more so than the first game where Reen at least made an escape. Here, Reen is in the clutches of his enemy. And I'll have to wait even longer because this is... I'm waiting for the PC version. You normally think nothing that bad is going to happen even in a cliffhanger game, but this time everything went wrong. No, def we did not defy the prophecy at all. We we ourselves made it happen. But given what happened in the Tokyo Xanadu, let's see if they'll actually commit to all the tragedies that happened. All the sacrifices. Copper uh, Georg, they're making... Uh, just to uh, drive home the fact that this is the real him. Even in the credits, you know? Anyway, just when things were looking hopeful in the end, we looked like we were about to we would even su uh, succeed in holding off some of the stronger enemies, only to get uh, only to get curb stumped by uh, by this uh, un uh, invincible monster. There's really no way to win without sacrificing either Altina or Milliam. No way to, uh, uh, to, uh, to survive against that beast. Yeah, it seems to have an infinite source of energy. Maybe we did stop it, there's still uh, traces of the curse out there that could try to reawaken it, so... This prophecy was probably destined to happen no matter what we do. Probably had backup people and just in case Reen didn't kill the beast. Even if Reen and Cedric were both uh, stopped from killing the beast.
Also, besides what happened to Reen, what about everyone else? Are they going to get captured or will they escape? On that note, the dungeon doesn't even seem to have a proper exit. Are we just stuck in there? Is the entire next game going to take place in that one dungeon? No way, Thomas could get us out if he needed to, but... So many unresolved battles, too. Plus marks the beginning of the flame's end. Despair washes over the Empire, the continent, the world. But don't lose hope, even as darkness, flashes of light remain. Most of those lights are lasers trying to shoot at me. In every heart, every pair of joint hands and the eyes fixed firmly on the future. Rest for now, then rise once more. He's still in that form. His super horny form. To see this wretched fairy tale fruit to the end. And he seems to be trapped in someone's hair? Maybe uh, that's some ability that Ishmelga has? To be continued. Or maybe some black workshop uh, tool to restrain. Giant mechs. Even their trump card spirit unification is no match for Osborne. Because he can turn it off whenever he wants. Saving clear data. Loading clear data lets you carry over data from your previous playthrough. First save. And what's, how's this little title screen change? That looks way too hopeful. The title screen should, uh, should be showing Valimar all chained up to reinforce that everything's gone wrong at the end. Yeah, I, have, I feel like I haven't had a cliffhanger for a long time since I played uh, the Crossball series in between 2 and 3. And Zero did not have a cliffhanger, but Cold, uh, the first Sky game... <laughs> The first Cold Steel game and this game all had cliffhangers. And this one is probably the biggest one by far. So many unresolved battles. What happened What happened to all the groups that were fighting? Special, the branch campus. They, what, what's going to happen to them? Are they going, going to regroup or will they get scattered again like the uh, uh, students from CS2? Reen is definitely captured and will probably, probably be de-leveled after getting bitten by that beast so many times, as well as exhausting himself of that power. Plus, Osborne choked him and probably beat him up and stole all his courts, but what about everyone else? Are they gonna get captured too? Yeah, given that all the enemies all have Divine Knights and we don't, it's possible that pretty much all of Class 7 is going to get captured. Yeah, I can see that happening. They get captured so they can't reveal the plan or kill. Probably killed because, uh, considering they were willing to blow up the airship. Yeah. Maybe next game, the first thing we have to do is escape from uh, uh, from Osborne's side before they can... Uh, 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 before they can kill us. Maybe we'll still suffer some enough wounds that we lose all our courts. Yeah. Unless they decide to actually let us keep our courts and let us move on to Mars Gem 2. Wouldn't that be something if they actually uh, uh, follow if they actually follow that kind of pro power progression? Actually, make us feel like we continue where we left off instead of uh, slight, uh, slightly nerfing us like in 
uh, every other game. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll even, maybe next thing we'll even figure out how to get access. Then again, we'll probably have to get orbit reset, especially if we want to pull off whatever the Iron Bloods did with their four-way link. Also, feel like, uh, some plot threads did not feel uh, quite finished, like Kurt's rivalry with the class. So, you know, I get, I get a feeling that he did partially because he. He felt like Reed and Kurt rejected him, but how, will this tie into his desire to control Testarossa too? Do he maybe want to get Testarossa both to prove himself stronger than in the past and to surpass Reed and Kurt in terms of being a mech fowler? Maybe after losing the first round with, against Kurt in, in, in Chapter 2, he felt like he wouldn't be able to win without a Divine Knight. Yeah, maybe, we, maybe by beating him in the beginning and still keeping up with him in the end, we we unwillingly spurred him to be even more devoted to Osborne just to gain power. Anyway, that's uh, as for the UI. The UI changes in battle. I kind of miss the uh, it being able to select wings with arrow keys uh, with the arrows normally. Plus, the arrows make it. I feel like. Makes the battle menu system more transferable to the keyboard. It's kind of awkward to use the keyboard for uh, for it because it was clearly designed for the controller. You know, if I, can, uh, if I uh, unless I were to map my keys in a very specific way, it just feels weird. As for uh, as for the additional the brake system, yeah, it's. It does feel even more overpowered in the delay system, for sure, since it lets you get Brave points easily as well. If I have the Brave orders, yeah, it feels like this it does feel kind of even more ridiculous when we're using all these overpowered mechanics, yet still losing the story. Yeah. Feel, uh, yeah, the probably the reason why people... Some people like the the combat of Sky better because that that way you're relegated to the more traditional RPG mechanics, and therefore it's easier to feel the power difference between you and your enemy, especially if they come in large numbers. In the Cold Steel series, even if they come in large numbers, if you can get them with AOE delays or AO, or break them at the same time, you're it still feels like you're essentially fighting only one boss and wailing on them. When uh, in Sky, enemy numbers do make a huge difference. Even one clone in the Lobe fight can make a huge difference. But here, Lobe's clone strategy would not be as viable if he got broken at the same time as his clones, just and everyone became a source of BP for the party. At the same time, they f yeah they want to introduce new mechanics, but the si but it's also hard to balance the enemies against them. I feel like the Brave Order system did at least have some potential since it's essentially a zero-turn buff, and it is possible to make hard, uh, hard, challenging games with zero-turn buffs, as shown by s some of the RPG Maker games I played in the past. Yeah, we've, probably would've been better to have like the Brave Point system, but with, uh, but nerfed and without any of the breaks and such. That way, you'll still have to at least worry about the enemy's mechanics to some extent while still having access to your own new mechanics. Anyways, that's all for this game. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and maybe try out Cold Steel Free for yourself.